Hi everyone, this lesson is on weird side effects of Losartan, which is also known as Kozar. So there are going to be weird side effects because they're more atypical, uncommon, or rare side effects. Before we talk about those side effects, let's talk about how Losartan works and some of the more common side effects of its use. So Losartan is an angiotensin receptor blocker or an ARB. It's a medication used to treat hypertension and diabetic nephropathy. It's a very good medication for these purposes in the sense that in patients with hypertension and left ventricular hypertrophy, so the left side of their heart becomes enlarged due to hypertension, Losartan actually can inhibit certain cardiac remodeling that can occur, and this can be very beneficial for patients. And it can also be protective for kidney functioning in diabetes. So this is why it can be important with diabetic nephropathy. So how does Losartan work? It works by inhibiting the action of angiotensin II through inhibiting its receptor. So angiotensin II is a hormone, and normally angiotensin II is going to activate angiotensin II receptors, specifically AT1 receptor, to activate certain effects. And one of those effects is it can cause vasoconstriction, meaning that it can squeeze down on blood vessels. So if we are inhibiting angiotensin II's effects, then we're actually going to lead to the opposite effect of vasodilation and opening up of blood vessels, and that's going to reduce pressure in the blood vessel. So that's one way to reduce blood pressure. Some other effects of Losartan include the fact that it can act on the brain to increase thirst, so you get more fluid intake, and it can also act on the adrenal glands to release a hormone called aldosterone, which can also increase the blood pressure and also lead to the kidney excreting potassium. So because we're blocking angiotensin II's effects, we're going to get the opposite of angiotensin II, including decreased vasoconstriction or vasodilation and decreased fluid intake and a decreased blood pressure. So some of the common side effects of Losartan use include a headache. This can be a very common side effect that can occur when you first start the medication. It may resolve in one to two weeks. Chest pain is also another common side effect of Losartan use. Fatigue, so patients can feel tired when taking Losartan and also Dizziness. Dizziness can occur due to too low of a blood pressure. Perhaps you're taking too high of a dose of low certain and you're bringing your blood pressure too low. And this can also be seen in situations where you may stand up too quickly and you get lightheaded. That is called orthostatic hypotension. And hypotension means a low blood pressure. Now let's talk about some of the weird side effects of low certain. We're going to first talk about hematological side effects. So these are going to refer to issues with the blood. So some of the side effects that we can see in the blood with low certain use include anemia. So anemia is a low hemoglobin level, and it has been shown that ARBs or angiotensin receptor blockers like Losartan and ACE inhibitors like Perindopril, they've been shown to reduce hemoglobin levels. Now it's believed that this is due to an effect on the kidneys. The kidneys release another hormone called erythropoietin, and erythropoietin is a hormone that acts on the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. So there may be some effect on the kidneys that leads to a lower release of erythropoietin leading to a higher chance of having anemia. And then if you have anemia, you're going to have signs and symptoms of anemia, including fatigue, pallor, in more severe cases, shortness of breath, among other symptoms as well. Now, another hematological side effect that can occur with those certain use is hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is also known as a low blood glucose level. And normally when we get low blood glucose levels, we get certain symptoms, including jitteriness, sweating, but those are actually res responses to low blood glucose levels by other hormones like epinephrine. But it seems that ARBs like Losartan suppress this particular response. So even if you have hypoglycemia, you may not have the symptoms of hypoglycemia because ARBs are actually reducing that hypoglycemia-induced epinephrine response that would normally give you certain symptoms of a low blood glucose level, but you're actually not experiencing it. So again, ARBs like Losartan may lead to a low blood glucose level, but you may not actually experience symptoms. So that's very interesting to point out here. At least 10% of patients may actually get hypoglycemia from Losartan use, and this is probably more likely to occur in patients who already have diabetes. Some possibilities as to why this occurs include Losartan may increase or improve insulin sensitivity may improve pancreatic beta cell functioning, which are the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin, or it may actually lead to a reduction in clearance of insulin from the kidneys. So insulin is generally going to be excreted renally or from the kidneys. So there may be an effect by Losartan on the kidneys to actually reduce clearance of insulin. So you might keep more insulin in your system. That's why we're going to see 
lower blood glucose levels. Those are some possible reasons as to why patients may get hypoglycemia. Some other weird hematological or blood side effects of low sartan use include hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia is a high level of potassium in the blood. And this high level of potassium in the blood is going to increase risk of cardiac arrhythmias. And the reason that we can get high levels of potassium in the blood is because low sartan, again, acts to inhibit angiotensin II effects. And one of angiotensin II's effects is to lead to the release of aldosterone from the adrenal glands. And aldosterone is a hormone that actually helps the kidneys excrete potassium. So if we're not getting aldosterone's effect to excrete potassium from the kidneys, then potassium can increase in concentration in the blood. So this is why we can have hyperkalemia. Some other effects of low sartan include hemolysis. So hemolysis is a breakdown of red blood cells. This is a very rare side effect, less than 0.1%. It's likely either immune mediated or it only happens in certain individuals. Perhaps maybe they have glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, for instance, and other individuals can get thrombocytopenia, which is a low platelet count. And moving on to immunological side effects. So side effects on the immune system from low certain use, we can see a higher rate of urinary tract infections with patients who take low certain. So some of the key symptoms of a urinary tract infection include urgency. So urgency is a feeling that you need to urgently use the washroom. You urgently need to urinate. Urinary frequency is that you urinate very frequently. And dysuria is a burning sensation when urinating. And the reason that low sartan increases the risk of urinary tract infection is not entirely known. It's likely that perhaps around 10% of patients may experience this particular side effect, and it may be due to effects on urinary excretion. And it could be a selection bias in the sense that a lot of older patients are more likely to get urinary tract infections, and they're also likely to take low sartan as well. So they're more likely to get urinary tract infections in general. So that could also be an explanation for potentially higher levels of urinary tract infections with losartan use. It has been noted that there is higher rates of upper respiratory tract infections with losartan use as well. So upper respiratory tract infections are infections above the larynx. So these can include anything from runny nose, sneezing, sore throat, cough. We can see sinusitis and inflammation of the sinuses, pharyngitis, inflammation of the throat. All these can be something that could be occurring as well. It may be, again, like a coincidental finding, like with urinary tract infections, where because older patients are more likely to get upper respiratory tract infections anyway, they're, and they're also more likely to take losartan, perhaps that's explaining some of the findings that we see with regards to this as a potential side effect. So it might not be a real side effect. Or losartan may be having immunomodulatory effects that we're not aware of that could be increasing at least even slightly the risk of having upper respiratory tract infections. Upper respiratory tract infections are likely to affect less than 10% of patients on low sartan. And gastrointestinal side effects can also occur with low sartan use as well. These include abdominal pain. So abdominal pain that does occur from low sartan use is often going to be mild. It can be described as dull, crampy. Patients may experience bloating as well. And what it does seem to happen is it's going to occur when you first start taking the medication, then over time it's going to slowly resolve. So it's going to usually slowly resolve over a few weeks. The reasoning that this occurs is likely due to the fact that there are angiotensin receptors in the gastrointestinal system, the same receptor that low certain blocks. So the AT1 receptor, this receptor again is in the gastrointestinal system. So there may be some effects that are going on in the gastrointestinal system to cause abdominal pain, but not only abdominal pain, but also diarrhea as well. So diarrhea, again, has been noted to usually start a few days to a week after starting the medication. And again, it's associated with abdominal pain as well. The reasoning for the diarrhea may be similar to the abdominal pain, but it may also be due to changes in, in electrolytes and also gut microbiome changes as well from losartan. And then some patients have described up to two to four stools per day of diarrhea from losartan use. We've also seen dyspepsia occurring with losartan use as well. Dyspepsia is going to be indigestion. There may be some heartburn, a little bit of nausea. These could be certain signs and symptoms of losartan. And gastritis. Gastritis is an inflammation. Itis refers to inflammation. Gast refers to the stomach. So it's an inflammation of the stomach. And this is a rare post-marketing report. It's only been reported after the medication was put on the market. And some of the signs and symptoms of gastritis can include nausea and a feeling of burning in the stomach. So this may be a side effect that's often going to be quite rare, but it may be just related to a losartan-induced irritation of the gastric mucosa inside the stomach. 
So this is part one of weird side effects of low certain use. Please check out part two. Also, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And also please consider joining as a member for members only content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.